Oh God, he's doing one of his bloody introduction videos again. But I'm a fan of context. What can I say? I need you to know about these things because this basket case behind me is going to be a whole big series on getting it restored and you need somewhere to start and this is that place. So a couple of years ago, me and a good friend Aled bought this absolute wreck of a Morris Traveller from 1968. Uh, it's the one litre Porsche Beta, rear wheel drive, manual gearbox. It's practically an Aston Martin, you know. Um, and yeah, we were gonna do all the sort of restoration work to it and, and gonna sort of float around Cheshire and it, la di da, very nice. Now, what actually happened was, we had a load of it sandblasted. We did a load of work to the thing. We did some rear window, uh, rear doors, which I'll show you. We, we decided to change the color of it. and All this stuff happened, it was great, and we were really flying. And then things get in the way. Other projects come, and other big vehicles need work, and all this sort of stuff. So it was difficult to sort of get ourselves into it. And we became very busy, so, it was hard to get us both in the workshop at the same time to work on it and all this type of thing. But it still needs doing. It doesn't look like anything's happened to that car. It looks like it's just been dismantled, but uh, quite a bit has been done. The rear sort of section has been all welded up. We've started to do other bits. It needs loads of welding though. As you can see here, it's got holes everywhere. It is nasty, man. It's nasty, but I'm going to sort it. And it's not going to be done to any sort of mega standards, this thing. This is just going to be a car for me and my mates to float about in and just have a bit of fun, you know. It's not going to be done to the same standard as the Mini or anything like that. Just going to bang a load of plates on it and, yeah, that'll send it, send it down the road, you know. Um, I'm going to show you one of the doors now. This is one of the ones that we, we, we did both rear doors. We started on the back of the car and we went to sort of move forward, which I don't know why, pretty bad idea. But I'm going to show you one of the doors. Okay. So this is one of the ones what we finished. That's the colour it's going to be. Um, it's great. Everything's okay. All the wood tidied up. And yeah, ready to rock and roll. When we first got the car, it was up and running and together. And someone was actually using it, I think, not so long before we bought it. It had like a set of Ford K seats and seat belts and stuff. And it was all very sort of just modernized to make it a little bit more sort of easy to run. But it was knackered, you know, it was in such poor condition. So we just stripped it all down took a loads of things away for powder coating and stuff and yeah it, it, we just sort of really got stuck in but um it's got a long way to go you know this is not going to be a fast restoration you're not going to see the next video out for this next week this is just a quick hello from the morris and then i'm going to ignore it probably until early part of next year because we're only in like december now so it's okay or november end of november uh, so yeah, we'll get stuck into it next year when there's nothing else to do. Do a load of welding on it, start painting it, getting it back together and yeah, it should take us a year or so to finish it. Um, but if you're from the future and you're watching this now and all parts are done, I mean that's exciting because you can just watch it from the start, here it is, all the way to the end. I mean lucky you, um, while I do all the work. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be fun. It's something a bit different, you know, and it's an old British car. I, I love it. Great. So stick around, smash that subscribe button, drive it into the keyboard and um, you'll see all of the videos. Great. See you next time.